They all demoralize your dreams. But God gave you a second chance to unlock your full potential. Shout out to the WTC family. We the chosen ones, baby. They all demoralize your dreams, chosen ones. Let's not forget that your fake family members, your so-called friends, which is your frenemies, they all literally doubted you and counted you out. You were telling people, chosen ones, about your dreams. You were telling people about your visions. You were telling people about your goals and your plans. But one thing you didn't know is that after the fact that you have told them about your dreams, guess what? They started to pray on your downfall. They started doubting you and gossiping about you and your plans. This is why you don't tell everybody your plans. Keep your next move on hush mode. Learn how to be quick to hear and slow to speak. Because let me tell you something. When you tell the plan, guess what? You plan to fail. Especially when it comes to your calling, your gift. This is something God has bestowed upon you. This is something God had stirred up inside of you. This is a gift that God is stirring up every single day. And we have to realize that everybody is not going to be happy for you by you telling them your dreams and your visions and their goal and your goals. You know why? Because they're not accomplishing their goals themselves. They're not even thinking about achieving their dreams. A lot of people are going to be shoulda, coulda, wouldas because of the simple fact they never took that leap of faith. The Bible says walk by faith and not by sight. It's sad how many people will put faith into a nine to five job, but will never put faith into their own business and into their own self, into their own talent. You'll put faith into a, a company that will pay you $20 an hour, but you won't put your own faith into your own dreams, into your own gift and talent God has given you. You will abandon your own gift. Understand what I'm saying, chosen ones. But you have to realize and never forget, they all demoralize your dreams. You know how many people demoralize my dreams or try to demoralize my dreams? And God said, nope, you are too gifted. Nope, you are the chosen one. Nope, I have a plan for you. Nope, my plans for you is to prosper. Nope, my plans for you is to have an expected end. So what your fake family members and your frenemies thought they had planned or thought they had plotted in a little diary of a mad Decepticon, guess what? God ripped up that diary. And God gave you your own composition book. God gave you your own diary. And guess what your diary said? Your diary said a second chance. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below right now because your boy is back. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below right now and say, God, I thank you for a second chance. God, I thank you for another chance to unlock my full potential. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. Because the devil thought he had you, but thank God you show got away. This is why you don't tell everybody that you about to be the next big thing. Let your results do the talking. Let your anointing do the talking. You ain't got to talk, talk about it. Just walk it. Don't be afraid to put in the comments below and say, I ain't got to prove anything to you. I'm going to let my anointing do the talking. I'm going to let my gift do the speaking. Don't abandon that gift God has given you. It's something that God has put on the inside of you to use for his glory. Don't you abandon the gift. Get away from these, these, these low uh, mentality, these low vibrational spirit people. Get away from these people whose mentality is all the way down to the ground. They don't think high like you. They mentality all the way down here. They don't dream big like you. What you're really doing is, children, you ain't doing nothing but wasting time. 
That clock is steady ticking. Uh, while you while you study hanging around people that don't want to see you win, while you constantly hang around people that don't even dream big like you, that clock is, is surely ticking. Understand what I'm saying? That's why you got to thank God for a second chance to unlock your full potential. I'm going to keep it real. I done wasted all of my 20s. Working for people that didn't even want to work for me. In other words, working for people that didn't even want to, you know, value me and value my presence. I've been doing it all my 20s. Started working at 16 years old. God was telling me, man, you working at this fast food, this ain't no gift for you. This ain't no talent you working here. This is just temporary. I'm going to use you like your mind would never imagine. This is what God is telling me. I'm going to use you for my glory. Everybody that doubted you, everybody may not see the full potential in you, but you best to believe I see the full potential in you. This is what God is saying. I have given you the key to unlock your full potential. I have given you the key to really show people the gift that I have given you. I've given you the key to prosperity. What are you waiting on? I have given you the key to abundance, new beginnings. Why are you waiting? You'd be surprised how many people are gifted and talented and they constantly question God. Why? How come I don't have this, Lord? Why come you didn't bless me with this? Why you don't got me that? Because you ain't putting forth the work. The Bible says faith without works is dead. You'd be very surprised how many talented people out here. But guess what? They have all literally have been living a life of a shoulda, coulda, woulda. In all actuality, they could have been the next big thing. They don't let somebody come in their ear and tell them what they can't do, or they don't let somebody come into their life and try to demoralize and destroy their dreams. You can't allow people to dictate your life. This is your life. You know how many people tell me, I'm not the next big this, I'm not the next big that. You need to stop doing this, you need to stop doing that. They're only saying that and doing that because you know why? They're not doing it. Never listen to somebody to tell you not to do anything if they're not doing anything with their lives. If they're not even trying to accomplish their dreams or their goals, why would you listen to somebody that's not even on top of their game? You can't tell me nothing. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. Tell your fake family members, tell your so-called friends, and tell your frenemies. You can't tell me nothing. I'm already in my calling right now. You can't tell me nothing. I'm already walking in my purpose. You can't tell me nothing, devil. I can do all things through Christ, which give you the strength. Do not let nobody speak anything negative and tell you what you cannot do. And you look that devil in his face and you say, I can do all things through Christ, which give me the strength. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below right now and say, devil, you a liar. I can literally do all things through Christ, which gives me the strength. So thank God for a second chance. Because he didn't have to give it to you. God seen all that dirt that was thrown on you. God seen all that hatred that was thrown on you. Look, God was seeing all that jealousy that was thrown on you. God seen all them, them wishy-washy spirits coming at you. Guess what God did? He used all that dirt. Uh, he used all that soil. Uh, all that jealousy and hatred. They were just throwing all kind of stuff on you. Naysayers lying on your name. Take that. Uh, understand what I'm saying? They doing all those things. But guess what? God used all that dirt and he turned it into fertilizer. So you can grow. He turned all that hatred and jealousy. He seen all that they threw on you. Guess what he did? He put all that together, balled it up and threw it out. The winners of heaven and say, hey, you know what? I'm getting ready to give him the key to unlock his full potential. Hey, Hallelujah. Don't you tell me what my God won't do. He's seen all that people doubting you and counting you out. You had nothing to your name, but all you had was your gift. Hey, glory to God. Mm, my, 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 my. Let me tell you something. People that got more than you, guess what? People that got more materialistic things, guess what? It's one thing they don't have that you had. 
See, there was a point in time, and I'm going to end it right here. There was a point in time in our life, children, where we didn't even have anything. Listen to me. You didn't have a pot to piss in. You, you didn't even have a, 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 a winner to throw it out of. Understand what I'm saying? You didn't have nothing to your name. You couldn't even afford a top ramen noodle soup. But one thing God gave you was your gift. Hey, my, 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 my. One thing you always had on the inside of you that you never, never, never knew that you had on the inside of you was that gift God put on you. And you had people at the time that had more than you, but guess what? They didn't have that gift. Mm. You got some people out there that got more than you And this is why the people that got more than you Is jealous of you Because of the simple fact Guess what? You got the anointing You got the gift You got unmerited favor You got unrecognizable favor This is why they can't stand to see you come They asking God How can this chosen one have all these Different gifts and talents How can he go through this struggle And then always seem to come out on top the same people that, that demoralize your dreams, this is what they they questioning God about. Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, Lord, how come did you, you know, Lord, how do you, wow, Lord, they, they don't got nowhere to go, Lord. And now all of a sudden, Lord, you, you don't turn their life around. How, how, how can it be? Lord, they, they were just, you know, out in the streets, Lord, Lord. This is what your, your frenemies are saying. This is what your, your enemies are saying behind your back to God, questioning God. Lord, how can it be, Lord? Lord, Lord, but I have all these different things, Lord. But, Lord, I, I just believe that I, I, I have something missing on the inside of me, Lord. Uh, Lord, Lord I, 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 I need the anointing, Lord. He ain't going to give it to you. Because you're not representing Christ. You got too much hatred in you. You got too much jealousy in you. I'm talking to all your frenemies for you, chosen ones. I'm speaking up on our behalf. I'm talking to all your fake family members. That's right. I'm speaking on our behalf. He ain't giving you the anointing. Stop asking him for it. God don't bless no mess. Oh, I'm back, baby. Don't y'all be afraid to put in the comments below and say, God don't bless no mess. It's getting real here today. Y'all better be ready for a three-peat. Get ready for the live. It's going down tonight. Y'all better be ready. I'm giving y'all a heads up. Get ready for the live tonight. The devil thought he had us, but we sure got away. Y'all better be ready for the live tonight. There's some people out there that got more than you. But they're questioning God and asking God, why? How can you make this person so strong again and give him all this resilient power and all these different gifts, Lord? Lord, why? how come I don't have a gift? I have a house on the hill. Lord, I got a convertible. But Lord, my, I'm, Lord I'm not even glowing, Lord. Every, every time I see that chosen one, Lord, they're, they're always glowing, Lord. There's something about them, Lord. They shining bright like a diamond, Lord. This is what they saying. Lord, Lord, how can I how can I get the glow, Lord, like the chosen one? How can I get the glow? I want to be beautiful and bright. I want to be the light of the world, Lord. I want my personality to be just like theirs, Lord. Oh, you'll be surprised. Lord, I put on every lotion, every lotion in Target, Lord. It still don't seem to be working, Lord. I done tried every cocoa butter there is, Lord. Lord, I even tried Vaseline. And people said I look like a grease monkey. Lord, I don't know what it is. I need to glow. Get your spirit right. Don't you be afraid to put in the comments below. Tell all your haters and naysayers, your fake family members and your frenemies, and say, get your spirit right. You better get your spirit together. You better get your spirit together. Because you ain't getting none of this glow. You ain't getting none of this anointing. And go get you some favor. Because what God got for me, guess what, chosen ones? It's just for me. And what God got for you, chosen ones, is just for you. So thank God that he has given you a second chance to unlock your full potential and your spiritual gifts. We're the chosen ones. Be blessed today.